Hi folks, and welcome to Section 7, Overview of the Power BI Service, part of PAC's video course, Power BI for Business Professionals. In this module, we'll discuss how to sign up for the Power BI Service and learn what the various service options are. In contrast to Power BI Desktop, which is free to all, there are licensing restrictions for Power BI Service, and we must be aware of what they are. We can start by going to docs.microsoft.com. That's kind of a long one. We could actually get there a lot faster if we use our old friend Google. If we just Google Power BI Service Features License, the first actual reference at the top of the page is almost certainly going to be the page that we want. Now, if we scroll down, and start looking at the comparison between the free Power BI service and the professional Power BI service, we notice right away that the primary differences are in what we can share and how we can collaborate with team members. The free version is oriented towards individual developers who want to use the Power BI service, and you can do many of the same things you did in the Power BI desktop including connect to a great many different data sources, import and export to Excel Power Pivot and flat text files and so forth. However, you can also publish to the web. If you want people to be able to get reports distributed by email, you cannot use the free version. If you want to share data or reports with other members of your team, you cannot use the free version. Now let's go over to look at some of the features of the professional version compared with the premium version. This URL is a little shorter. We can go to powerbi.microsoft.com slash en hyphen us slash pricing. We notice immediately that the Power BI Pro is reasonably priced at $9.99 a month, not that much different than free. The Power BI Premium, however, is almost $5,000 a month. It's clear that the Power BI Premium version is for enterprises that need to be able to exercise a great deal more control over the administration of the Power BI service and also the deployment of data and reports and so forth. If we scroll down and look at the details, we won't enumerate them here, but most of the important differences are in advanced administration that larger organizations require. Not surprisingly, there are some differences in the size of data sets that individuals can maintain. The pro version has a limit of one gigabyte for an individual data set and a total of 10 gigabytes per user. In contrast, Individual data sets can be 10 gigabytes for the premium edition, and the total maximum storage is 100 terabytes, probably enough for the reports of most organizations. Now let's take a moment to talk about signing up. This can be a little bit more intricate than you might imagine at first. You cannot sign up for the free version using your Gmail email address or your Outlook email address or an email address from any public email server. You must have an email address from a professional organization or your employer or your school. Making matters a little more complicated is that if your employer already has a Power BI service account, you may not even be able to use your work email address. If you try to open up a subscription to the Pro Edition with your work email address and your employer has a subscription already, you will be asked to contact your administrator and ask your administrator to assign you as a user. You will not be allowed to create your own independent subscription. Now, signing up for Power BI Pro, that has its requirements and restrictions as well. In order to sign up for Power BI Pro, at least as of October 2019, for all practical purposes, 
you must have an Office 365 account. You cannot directly sign up for a Power BI Pro account. You will have to go to your Office 365 account and add on a Power BI Pro subscription. Now, it is possible to get a Power BI Pro subscription via Microsoft Azure, but in order to do this, you must be an administrator for whatever domain was used to open up the Azure account. So unless you are an Azure domain administrator, you cannot subscribe to Power BI Pro via Azure. For all practical purposes, individual developers and people who work for small companies and want their own personal Power BI Pro account will have no choice but to first subscribe to Office 365. Now, after you've signed up and you have your brand new Power BI account, of course you're going to be very excited and you will want to go to the website and see what you have. So you'll go to app.powerbi.com and here we've arrived at the home page of the Power BI service.